Two years after the San Francisco battle, the Alpha Omega human militia relentlessly searches for Caesar's ape colony. The militia is aided by Red and other apes, derogatorily referred to as donkeys, who have been coerced into serving the humans. One fateful day, a platoon of the Alpha Omega militia launches an assault on an ape outpost hidden deep within the forest. Despite the surprise attack, the apes, led by Caesar's strategic planning and unparalleled leadership, managed to repel the assault with impressive coordination and strength. In the chaos of battle, only a few human attackers survived the brutal encounter. In a gesture of peace and mercy, the apes released the surviving humans, hoping to convey their desire to end the hostilities. However, Red, an ape who had betrayed his kind, seizes the opportunity to escape from winter, an ape loyal to Caesar. Amidst these tensions, Caesar's elder son, Blue Eyes, and his loyal companion, Rocket, return from a long and arduous journey. They bring hopeful news, reporting that they have discovered an oasis, a potentially safer haven for the colony. The promise of this new sanctuary brings a glimmer of hope to the weary apes. Their hopes are shattered when the colonel, the ruthless leader of the Alpha Omega militia, leads a clandestine infiltration into the heart of the ape colony. In the dead of night, the colonel and his team silently breach the colony's defenses. In a tragic case of mistaken identity, the colonel kills Cornelia, Caesar's beloved wife, and Blue Eyes, mistaking him for Caesar. Cornelius, Caesar's younger son, witnesses the horrific scene but miraculously survives by hiding from the attackers. Devastated by his family's loss, Caesar becomes consumed by a desire for vengeance. Determined to protect his remaining kin and ensure their safe passage to the oasis, Caesar, along with Rocket, Maurice, and Luca, decides to serve as decoys, drawing the militia away from the leading group of apes making their journey to the new home. During their perilous mission, Caesar encounters a militiaman, whom he kills in self-defense. In the aftermath, he discovers a mute girl, abandoned and alone, whom Maurice befriends by giving her a rag doll as a gesture of kindness and trust. As the group continues their journey, they encounter Winter, riddled with guilt and fear. Winter admits that he betrayed the colony's location to Red in exchange for his own life. He reveals that the colonel is heading north, pursuing the leading group of apes. In a tense and tragic confrontation, Caesar, unable to contain his fury and grief, kills Winter when the latter attempts to alert the militia to their presence. As Caesar's group presses on in their quest to find the colonel, they come across a grim scene, the bodies of dead soldiers strewn across their path. Among the carnage, they find a wounded survivor who, to their astonishment, reveals that he is mute, just like the girl they had encountered earlier. This unsettling revelation suggests that the virus responsible for the simian flu is evolving in ways they had not anticipated. Determined to continue, Caesar's group soon realizes that one of their horses has been stolen. They pursue the thief and are taken aback when they discover that the culprit is not a human but another intelligent ape named Bad Ape. This new ally, living in isolation, leads them to a former weapons depot repurposed into a quarantine facility high in the mountains. Once strategically important, the facility now serves a darker purpose under the colonel's command. As they approach the facility, a human patrol spots them, leading to a deadly skirmish. In the ensuing chaos, Luca, one of Caesar's trusted companions, is killed. The loss of Luca weighs heavily on the group, but their mission drives them forward. Caesar, attempting to get closer to the facility, is captured by the colonel's forces. To his horror, he discovers that his entire tribe has also been captured and is being forced to build a massive wall around the facility. Caesar quickly deduces that the militia is fortifying the depot to fend off an impending assault by other military forces. In a tense confrontation, the colonel reveals the true extent of the crisis. The simian flu virus has mutated, causing infected humans to regress mentally, devolving into primitive, animal-like states. The colonel, in a desperate bid to contain the outbreak, had ordered his troops to execute any infected individuals to prevent further spread. This brutal directive led to severe disagreements with his superiors, who were still hoping for a cure. As a result, the colonel and his followers became renegades, isolated and determined to enforce their harsh containment methods. In a bid to break Caesar's spirit and force the remaining apes into submission, the colonel resorts to torturing Caesar and depriving him of food. 
the once strong and determined leader is reduced to a state of desperation, as he is kept starving and helpless, watching as his tribe suffers under the oppressive regime. The weight of his losses and the dire circumstances of his people fuel Caesar's resolve to overcome their captors and liberate his kind from the colonel's tyranny. Hope emerges in the quarantine facility's dark and oppressive environment. The mute girl, whom Maurice names Nova, bravely sneaks into the compound to provide food to Caesar. This small act of kindness rekindles Caesar's strength and determination. Rocket, recognizing the danger of Nova being discovered, sacrifices his freedom by allowing himself to be captured. This selfless act ensures Nova remains safe and allows Rocket and Caesar to devise an escape plan. As the oppressive routine continues, the colonel stumbles upon the rag doll that Nova left for Caesar. Oblivious to its significance and potential danger, he confiscates it. Meanwhile, Caesar and the other captured apes discover an underground tunnel system beneath the facility. This hidden passage becomes their lifeline, offering a potential route to freedom. The apes orchestrate their escape through these tunnels with meticulous planning and coordination, moving silently and swiftly to avoid detection. As the apes make their daring escape, a new threat looms. Aligned with the colonel's rogue operations, military forces arrive in full force and launch an all-out assault on the facility. The chaos of battle provides a cover for the apes but also intensifies the perilous environment they must navigate. Amidst the turmoil, Caesar seizes the moment to confront the colonel directly. Stealthily, he sneaks into the colonel's cabin, driven by a desire for retribution and justice for the atrocities committed against his kind. However, upon finding the colonel, Caesar is struck by an unexpected sight, the once formidable leader has succumbed to the virus he sought to eradicate. Handling Nova's doll has infected the colonel, making him helpless. Confronted with his enemy's pitiful state, Caesar grapples with his sense of vengeance and mercy. Despite his burning desire for revenge, he cannot kill the colonel. Instead, he watches as the colonel, stripped of his power and humanity, takes his own life. This act of self-destruction is a poignant reminder of the devastating consequences of the colonel's fanaticism and the cruel irony of his fate. With the colonel dead and the facility under siege, Caesar turns his focus back to his people. The apes, now free from their captors, must navigate the chaos of the ongoing battle. Caesar's leadership and the bravery of his companions fueled their determination to reach safety, setting the stage for their final struggle for freedom and survival. As the escaping apes leave the facility, they find themselves caught in the devastating crossfire between the militia and the newly arrived military forces. The battlefield becomes chaotic and perilous, with explosions and gunfire erupting around them. Determined to ensure the survival of his people, Caesar spots a strategic opportunity, a fuel tank positioned behind the militia's lines. He realizes that destroying it could create a diversion and eliminate a significant portion of the militia's forces. With resolve, Caesar walks towards the fuel tank, navigating through the carnage with stealth and agility. Just as he is about to ignite the tank, he is confronted by Preacher, one of the militiamen he had previously spared. In a tragic twist of fate, Preacher shoots Caesar, delivering a fatal wound. The sight of the courageous apes being gunned down stirs something within Red, the ape who had betrayed his kind. In a moment of redemption, Red turns against the militia and kills Preacher, only to be executed by another militiaman moments later. Despite his grave injury, Caesar manages to detonate the fuel tank, causing a massive explosion that sends shockwaves through the battlefield. The explosion triggers an avalanche from the surrounding mountains, sending a wall of snow and debris toward the facility and the warring factions. Amidst the chaos, Caesar, Nova, and the surviving apes desperately climb the surrounding trees, using their agility to avoid the oncoming avalanche. As the avalanche engulfs the facility and the military forces, burying them under tons of snow and ice, the apes cling to the branches of the trees, narrowly escaping the deadly cascade. In the aftermath, the exhausted and battered apes regroup and begin their journey toward the oasis, the haven blue eyes and rocket discovered. The journey is arduous, but the promise of a new home drives them forward. Upon arriving at the oasis, a serene and fertile sanctuary, the apes and Nova are overcome with relief and a sense of triumph. However, their joy is tempered by the realization that Caesar's condition is worsening. Maurice, ever the compassionate and wise advisor, discovers the severity of Caesar's wound. 
Understanding the moment's gravity, he promises Caesar that Cornelius, his surviving son, will know who his father was and the sacrifices he made for the apes. Surrounded by his loyal companions and the apes he has led to safety, Caesar succumbs to his wounds. His passing marks the end of an era, but his legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of the apes he has freed. The oasis, now their new home, symbolizes the hope and future that Caesar fought so valiantly to secure. In this final moment, the apes honor their fallen leader, vowing to carry forward the values of courage, unity, and compassion that he embodied.